I want you to be completely, brutally honest and so honest my feelings will not get hurt. How far or how close am I to the PGA Tour, would you say, just based off what you see? I want to say... I'm rolling it so well. So well today. <laughs> Stupid birdie. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's episode. As you guys can now tell, Brad is currently two under par. Just a nightmare start out here at at old, uh, Twin Creeks. Twin Cheeks was getting the best I'm of getting, us. There. I'm getting, I'm getting back. You are too. You, yeah. you can finish two birds in a row to finish the uh, the front nine. That felt good actually. That felt very nice to finish with two birdies in a row. Felt like I was kind of, I was kind of getting in the rhythm of things. So I feel like for this back nine, I'm gonna go low. It, the biggest thing for me is when my driver feels good. I play well. My driver is just now starting to feel really solid. Sit back, relax, strap in, put a strap on, no, nope. and uh, enjoy the back nine. Back with another video. You guys probably already saw that car cam, but Brad's two under, I'm one over. Kind of just want to play butter cut on this hole up the left side. This is definitely one. I haven't played the par fives too well so far, so I need to take advantage of this. Even par on the par fives, and they are very attackable. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that'll play. It's gonna run for miles. Yeah, that's gonna run. Holy wow, ramp. that ramp! <laughs> it ramped up. That ran like it stole something. Go ahead. I'm about to swing so freaking hard at this. Good for you. <laughs> oh God. Huh? The driver is actually on a next level for you today. That carried where mine probably rolled to. <laughs> Good start to the back nine. Damn, Skippy. You carried that, like, up here. I'm not even joking, you landed, like, yeah, like, right there. 156. This is one of those you've got to treat like a par four. Pitching wedge in hand. I tried to take some off that, and I definitely didn't need to. Eagle putt. Yeah, compressed it well. 133, dead down wind, 30 club face. I've got a weird feeling this is going to go in. It won't. Should be pretty good though if it stays. No. Oh. Don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. You look dirty. I didn't even hit the green. Hey, yeah. <sighs> Let the club know. Let the club know. Yeah, weird feeling it might go in. Miss the freaking green. Gosh. Just a, a piss poor effort there. Hey, Brad, next hole? Yeah? Easily drivable. Uh, it might be a three wood. I thought this pin was further up. I thought it landed like pin high, but actually I landed a little short. Just gonna put it up there. You got like 25, 30 feet. Just try to like it close. If it goes in, it goes in. Hmm. Don't know what happened with the line, but cool. It's gonna skirt, and then I just need to get it on the other side of the ridge and let it fall in there. Holy quick. <laughs> They're so sneaky fast. Nice. Our balls are basically on top of each other. Nice. Good birdie. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Couple good birdies there on hole number 10. Brad's three under. I'm back to even. Let's go. Nice. Thanks. And there's the actual bird. There's the actual me making it. So, <laughs> yeah, two birds there. Yeah, I think I figured out my putting. It's just now, it's like my stroke wasn't that bad. It's just it, literally all, putting's all confidence. Did you change grip or anything? No, I changed my routine. I need to get like a set routine, which I did have one. I just need to change it up a little bit. This might sound really weird, but when I putt best is when I can really feel the weight of the putter. Yeah. Which is kind of what I'm trying to feel. It's like, I'm trying to feel like this little angle in my wrist right here. Right. It just stay in there. I'm just like getting, I'm, Stroking the putter with my hands, and right. it makes me feel like the weight of the club. Whenever I have a smooth stroke, it's better. If I have a jerky stroke, it's worse. Yeah. It's, it's worse. It's a good rule of thumb. Yeah. So. I wasn't very good at grammar. What was, uh, did you take the ACT or did I already ask you that? ACT, yeah. You did? What did you get on the ACT? 30. You're joking. Brother, this man's good at golf from Oklahoma and smart. 30, first try. I was a sophomore in high school. You have to be kidding. Why'd you go to OU? Because <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> Should have gone to Yale. I got a 20 and then I got an 18, which is terrible. 348 yards, number 11, dead down wind. Driver normally is too much, so I'm gonna hit a little saute cut in there. Brad's new nickname's 30, I love that. That's insane. That's gonna get there too, I feel like. Yeah, right around the tree. A little more saute, a little more cut, and that's right next to the hole. That is titties. That is Brad titties, tatas, titties, boobies, whatever you wanna say. 
keep cutting. Ah. Oh, we're on. I was hoping for a right kick off that little knob. I knew I was going to have to kind of run it up there. Oh, yes. Nailed me. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I'm so excited for Monterey. <laughs> I haven't been excited for like a content trip like this in so long. Me and Gart are here like in the same exact spot. Pretty easy chip shot. It's just the grass over here is a little, a little dicey, but he could contact with this should be no issues. Gosh, that went. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, dude. What's that all about? Well, first of all, did you see that wind take that ball midair? Yeah, in the air. Long ball. It looked like it curved like two yards and then it had no spin whatsoever. Kind of scares me a little bit for mine, but try not worry about it too much. Just trust it. I got scared of it completely. Golly, commit to it, Garrett. What are you doing? All right, simple chip up the hill. See if I can make this just a, stup a stupid birdie right here. Stupid birdie. Oh my, you're so stupid. I hate that stupid so Stupid birdie. <laughs> That's like such a Brad fashion birdie. I want to make this for four in a row. It's a stupid bitch. Cut. <laughs> Sorry for cussing. Hey. Sorry for cussing. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, good for you. Hell yeah. Good for you. How many dollars am I down? 250. 200 actually. Two over through the first two and you're 400. That's crazy. 185 yards from this tee ball. Pins back right. Kind of a dicey pin back there maybe, but I got nine iron. Again, it's very downwind. I'm not just hit nine iron to try to be big. I'm gonna try a little cut in there though. Hold it wind, hold it wind. Be good. Ooh, that took a big hop. But I feel like that's on that back edge. Yeah, like it was. I think. Like you're still putting. Oh, drew it. Just hit a draw, unfortunately. Not bad. I think streamers that have like really bad cameras with bad mics are so much funnier. <laughs> My ball did end up rolling a little too far. I was hoping it'd be on this edge, but it's not. But that gives me an opportunity to make two chip-ins in a row. So that'd be kind of cool. So good with his hands, folks. He's just so good with his hands. I like this. I like this a lot. Whoa, it has a little drainage pipe here. Yes. <laughs> what? Yeah. It got a little drainage pipe and went right. That was an almost impossible putt to make. I don't know if y'all can tell on this camera, there's literally a half pipe right here. <laughs> I got a double breaker for my three, four, three, four footer. Yeah, you're kind of boned. Yeah. No way. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I did not think I was gonna make that putt, but I did, that's par. All right, number 13, par four, dog leg right. Sting is back into the wind. I'm gonna a little stinger drive down the left side. <laughs> that's so fun. I love hitting the driver good. Yeah. That's so fun. I'm gonna try the same thing here. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Go oh. off. Yeah. I always hit it over there because I you cannot go right. 110, end of the wind, but I'm trying to kind of open up a 56. Well, yeah, nice little cut. It probably helps when your gro grooves are clean, huh? Do you uh, have some clean? have said in the past that... Do you have a groove cleaner? I do not. I have a T in my pocket. Needs to go. Holy, too spinny. Oh my gosh. As <laughs> soon as I hit it, I knew that got ballooned. <laughs> yeah, I should have just hit it with a 52. Did not have enough club. I'm gonna chip that in, you pass your ball. Oh, oh wow, I never saw that. Come on, shoot that real quick for me. Huh? Come on, zapping that real quick. 69 yards, dinner for two. 69 yards? That's all that needs to be said, it's 69 yards. I love it when Brad gets excited about a wedge shot. It's kind of cool to watch. You always you always know it's gonna be kind of cool. Oh, uh, make that get a five under. Ooh, ooh. Yep, that too. Man, this is like this is a good round for you. Yeah, it's turning into it's turning into one. Yeah. By the way, I just want to say that cock chop wasn't necessarily towards you. It was more just to no, you okay. know to the birdie. It was just the cock chop to the fact that it was 69 yards. Holy short! Did not whatsoever have the right club. And that's all right. 
No. Wow, what the? Terrible hop. That's so weird. I actually hit that kind of how I wanted to. It felt spinny. Yeah, it sounded spinny. It like landed and didn't really a hop, it just shot. It's kind of sucked to drop a shot here, but we've done it plenty of times today and we've battled back, so. Gosh, I'm rolling the putter so nicely today though. Can't even complain. Got a little three, four footer for my birdie. It's a very quick looking putt. I'm just gonna have to tap it, it's downwind too. Bring it on the left. No. No. I hit it way too hard. I think I shit my line. I thought that was gonna snap. Nice. Nice. See, I'm not really mad about that, because right now I'm trying to just make confident strokes, and I did, and I actually feel like I hit a pretty good putt. I hit a little too hard, and also I thought the thing was gonna snap pretty hard. It did not. That's a waste of opportunity, though. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm one over par now. Brad is four under, $250 down, and it's not looking like I'm gonna be getting much money back, if any, so we just gotta do everything we can to make some birdies. I want you to be completely, brutally honest and so honest, my feelings will not get hurt. I, okay. How far or how close am I to the PGA Tour, would you say, just based off what you see? Like, I honestly, you will not hurt my feelings. Whatever you say. I, you can say, like, you are miles and miles and miles away. I want to say you're pretty far away. Yeah. Compared to all the golfers, you're like the top 2%. You're a very good golfer. The PGA Tour level is just a whole different level. You have to be playing in tournaments consistently. Cause like right now, I mean, obviously I've played in PGA Tour events and all that. Like right now, if I went, I haven't played a tournament in like nine months. If right. I haven't played a PGA Tour event right now, I'd probably play so bad. Really? Just cause it's a, it's a different, a whole different atmosphere. It's like a whole it different, is. mental game is different. I mean, that's what I, and I, I agree with you. I actually 100% agree with you. I was talking about it on a podcast with Steven and Kendrick. I think. There are a couple YouTube golfers, maybe only one, that I could see like actually doing it on the PGA Tour, and that was George Bryan, is who I said. Guys like you and Luke Juan obviously can, because you've done it, like you've played in PGA Tour events, mm -hmm. so you've been at that level. But it is, it is just, it's an interesting topic, because I think about it. You see comments, you talk to people, why don't you go pro, go pro, go pro. It's just so much harder than just saying, all right, I'm going to go pro. First off, you go pro, you got to play mini tours, you got to work your way up, and that alone, you've done that lifestyle. It's, it's ridiculous. It's brutal. Like, if y'all think I'm a good golfer, there's hundreds of me or better out there. And you've played in the Masters. Yeah, and I've played in the Masters. Let's make that clear. <laughs> you know, you played in the Masters, you're a national champion, you made the winning putt, and that's just a fact. <laughs> so... There's just so many good players. There are. And like, I've said it, it's so tough to get up there. You have to play well at the right times. Like I've told people, like you can go win, you can go play 20 mini tour events, mm -hmm. win every single mini tour event. You go to first stage Q school, of corn break Q school, shoot 78 first round, play a bad round, and your whole, You're done. it's like, well, wait, you know, good luck next year in Q school. It's like you have to wait a whole nother year. So you have to play well at the right times. So yeah, just getting to that level in the first place would be difficult. Absolutely. But. We'll keep talking about it. Gosh, I feel so good with the driver. Get right in the bunker, yes! <sighs> Am I in the bunker? Uh, it might be short. Oh, that'd be nice. Ah. Yep, that Perfect. was a bailout. Nice little one-hander. I was over that bowl and I was like, I don't know. I'm glad I bailed out. I was obviously like every kid's goal is to be, you want to be a pro golfer, right? When you're getting into it and you're just loving the game. So that was my goal. And uh, I was so stubborn where I played in a bunch of junior tournaments, like 30 tournaments a summer, the one day, two days, anything around Kansas City, a couple AJGAs. I kept like playing pretty poorly. I would win a couple here and there. I'd shoot like 68s, whatever, but like nothing crazy. I pretty quickly realized that becoming a pro golfer takes so much effort, so much time, so much work, so much energy. And if I were to keep going on that path to try and be a pro golfer, I mean, it would have taken so much work because I wasn't one of those guys that had the natural talent. Like a lot of guys just, yeah. even on tour, that don't practice that much and are just good because they're good. Like you said, I mean, we were talking about earlier, but like DJ and certain guys that just go out there and just have it. And I never really had it. It's also, I mean, like everyone's different. Like some guys need to do like structured practice plans, you know, so so much time on this, so much time on this. Some guys are more like get on the course and just play. Pretty much every pro you play with that's up there 
is spending like all day at the course. Like right. their life is literally wake up, work out, go to the course, spend the whole day at the golf course, whether it's playing golf, playing the course the whole time, practicing the whole time, mixture of both. I mean, it's an everyday thing, like seven it's hours a day. You know, you live on the golf course. Even because like when I started, that's what I did. And as soon as I switched my golfing experience to more, let's just go have fun and like film it. Mm -hmm. I did start having so much more fun yeah. playing golf. Winning a PGA Tour event, that that natural high you get from that is probably almost unbearable. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm mean, like winning the Masters one day, like that that feeling would, you can't compare that oh, to yeah. anything really. 92 yards, 60 degree in hand. I'm going to be completely honest, I thought that was going to go in the bunker. I thought that was pretty ta the whole way. No, I never thought that was ta -tas. Sit down, sit down. It's great. A little long? I think so. Yeah, that's really good. I thought that was going to be a little deep. Down the hill, a little right to left. Just kind of wanted to slip it in the side of the hole. I'm rolling it so well, like so yeah, well yeah. today. I knew I made that putt as soon as I hit it. And the ball's just like hugging the ground. It's just, you face. know it's going in. If it's the right read, it's yeah. going in. Bring a little right, it's gotta match up the speed. I'm just hitting these putts a little too hard. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, that was actually better speed. I just thought that was a snapping. It's just so frustrating. Only $200 down now, yes. Driver in hand, par five. Aim up the left edge of the fairway, just trying to hit a little butter cut. I need to borrow that tee, please. Take it, brother. That is right where you want to be. I just always try and avoid that right side on this hole. Jeez. That's insane, actually. That's crazy. Just creamed my pants. Really good drive there from, from Brad. Punch my you take. Probably 30, 40, maybe 50 past me. Let me go ahead and stop here. I need to get a snack. Do you guys have like protein bar, Nature Valley bars? We do have the Nature Valley bars, yes. All right. Get some Cheez-Its as well. Ah! Wow, that was way louder than I expected. That was very loud. <laughs> Give me these Cheez-Its. I only got to about like 20. No, I mean, going by the angle, probably eight. That's payback when I did that to you, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing is, I'm not gonna be a little. Mm, I'm gonna sit here and take it. You ran away like a scared dog. My farts don't smell. I don't believe that. They don't. Only when I have too much dairy. Cheese is on a golf course. They just hit different, guys. The perfect golf snack. Yeah. I have 230. I'm gonna go three iron. Try and roll one up there. That's a runner. She's running. It's a good spot there, a little layup. All right, we got 215, middle of the fairway, dead into the wind. I got four iron, I'm gonna hit a little stinger. Hopefully hit it close, make another eag. No! How far do you have? 215. Yeah. Hit it solid, hit it how I want it, just a little draw. God, I need chapstick. I'm in desperate need of chapstick. I like open that accidentally perfectly. My ball's still like 50 out or 100 mm. out. Oh my god. I still don't see it. Ah. I chunked it and it rolled 200 yards. Not gonna ever see a pro golfer hit a shot like that. One in a million. Tiger shank. Yeah. 60 yards, 60 degree in hand. Birdie the hard way. Come on. What the f? I hit that so good. Dad gum it. Not in a great spot back here. Not much green to work with, running away from me. Downwind, I'm gonna try to hit a little high softy. Try to make something work. Get something down for birdie, hopefully. That's so good though. Thanks. I got good news. Even though I'm far away for my birdie, every putt I look at, I feel like I'm gonna make, which is a really good feeling. It's kind of like Brad with his driver is slightly me with my putter. But thanks. These par fives are probably one of the, some of the easiest in Texas from what I've played, and I I really did play them kind of trashy today. I got up here and and finished out. Brad's gonna go real quick. Oh whoa! What the pool? Whoa! 
came out kind of funky, but it'll play. I just pulled that pitch shot very hard left. Make it for my birdie. Come on now. Oh, thought I made that. Nice. <laughs> What'd you make, par? I made par. What'd you make, par? I made par. Okay, that's unfortunate. Your birdie's ahead Dude, of us. I can see the veins in your head. That's kind of cool. Yeah, they call me testicle head. Really? Yeah. That's dope. It's 98. Um, I have eight and nine out. I have seven, but I low-key want an eight, I think. I might hit nine. I might just send it up in the air and let it fly. I'm gonna go seven. Okay. Is that bunker? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break the club. I actually hit a good shot. That felt so nice. I got eight iron. I'm gonna hit a little cutty in there. Take just a little bit of distance off. You got eight? Yeah. Go. Pretty good. Oh! The wind's not taking it as much as I hit. Hey, look at the veins. I'm not gonna lie, that ball was in the air. I thought it might have a chance of scaring the hole. Really? It was landing just left of the flag, oh. a little cut. I thought I was gonna land a little further, have a little hop up. No. I always you, you didn't think so? No. I always thought it was gonna be short. Okay, all right. Well, f you then. <laughs> oh, I'm not putt this. Yeah! No. Cold length relief, right here. And there is no sand. It's just rock. All right, there's about half an inch of sand in this bunker. Ay, ay, ay. It's like my worst nightmare. Oh. Yeah, that's a good shot there. <laughs> that was funny as hell. <laughs> that's nice. Ryder, no, come here, listen to this. This is crazy, listen. It's literal rocks. Hammer the middle of the pin and then rip back like five feet. <laughs> it did spin, huh? I'm starting it out by where Garrett's ball is. Should be breaking pretty hard at the end, so. Let's see if I can read one right. <sighs> Good putt. Didn't quite hit hard enough. Slipped in the left side of the cup. That's just a normal, everyday par there. Nothing weird about that one. Driver in hand. Just gonna try and aim up the left side, a little butter cut. Hey, look back, I think. <laughs> that guy in the red definitely did. Yeah. That drive was mimeric. That drive was amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna Very go nice. for a little uh, low peeler slider here. Right off that bunker. Titties. Tatas. Mammaries. Boobies. Jugs. Knockers. Jugs, knockers. There, there's, I feel like there's one we're missing. There's definitely a lot we're missing. Bouncers. Bouncers, melons, coconuts, jugs, baps. Baps? Bacon. <laughs> Bacon hangers. <laughs> Fun bags, I love that. Tatas, that's in there. Bust? Never heard of that one. Mosquito bites. Ice gems. <laughs> Bubbies. <laughs> Bubbies. Bacon hangers? That's, that's ridiculous. Hooters, Hooters. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's an easy one. Melons. Snuggle pops. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, snuggle pops. Utters. Utters. Why didn't I think of Utters? That's such a normal one. 101 yards, dead in the wind. I got gap wedge, 50 degree. Damn, we'll fly it one in there. It synced up nicely. Should spin. A little too much on top of it. Started left, a little too far, is what it is. Go. No, that's good. What a shot. Yes! What's up, boys? How you doing? <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. How you doing? What do you think you play on a course like this? Oh, no, I love this course. Play like I play it all the time. How you doing? Nice to meet you guys. Let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, yeah. I used to live right up the street, actually. Today. You guys recognize you from way down there. Oh, nice. I, I love the green. I was like, that's Garrett. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Pumpkin, man. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Garrett. All the best, man. Yeah. Stuff, man. Nice to meet you. Absolutely. You guys are nice to meet you. How are you playing? I'm good. Yeah, I'm playing good. Shot, I think man. that's to get it to one under, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we make it. Yeah. Take it easy, guys. These guys are great. They had good energy. I like that. Poor birdie. I want to make this really bad. Get it to red digits. That's kind of been my goal today. Not a great wet shot in there. I like 35 feet, breaking right the whole way. Garrett just stuffed it, so he's probably gonna get the one under. See if I can make this stay $200 up on him. 
simmer in the hole. Oh my gosh! I would have bet a, I would have bet all two hundred dollars I was up on Garrett that that was going in about ten feet out. No. You didn't have to add the <laughs> that you were up on Garrett part. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Only down one fifty now. Don't mind that. That's reasonable. One under to four under. On to the last. All right, ready. 49 to the guy in the black. Driver in hand, final hole, hole 18. Just gonna try and send one here. Yep. Had some footwork on that one. That's kind of cool. It is 360 to the pin. It's probably like 340 front edge. I'm gonna have to hit like a high draw and just hammer it. It's literally not downwind. Uh, should I just green, go and just roll one up? You, uh, if you get one on the green, yeah, go. There's no. I mean, if you do, I just. I don't want to hit into them, if, brother. If you hit into them, it'll be barely rolling. There's no way you're carrying it 360. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just one hop in the bunker. Short of it? Yeah. I thought for a second that one hopped into the bunker that they were in. <laughs> I thought it did too. I hammered it though. You killed that. Yeah. 77 yards. Would really like to finish with a birdie here. Got a 60 degree in hand. That's fine. That'll be a fairly straight putt from about 20 feet. We can make that. Hit a nice drive up here. Didn't quite get to the green, but it's like kind of pin high with the front edge of the green. Not much green to work with, but there's like some fairway between the bunker and the green. Someone tried to land it right in there. Yeah, hopefully hit it close, finish with the bird, shoot a little 67. Not a bad round for considering I bogey the first two holes. So see if I can do that. I was about to say you got so unlucky, but you got lucky. I got lucky, that's right where I was trying to land it. It landed right here, and it like landed it super soft. I thought it was gonna stop uh, right here. Tap in birdie, baby. There you go, good finish. You bit. I feel confident with the putter, it just depends on the read. Be where did that not go left, huh? Hey, good well, round. Thanks. We, uh, we came back after a not so hot start. Yeah, no, we did. I was gonna have a baby in nine months. So that was a fun time though, that was. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We just finished up at Twin Creeks. So I hope you guys enjoyed Stroke Play 18. Tomorrow, we're doing some more Stroke Play. We're just gonna keep the Stroke Play going. And I hope you guys enjoy that, because I love Stroke Play. Do you love Stroke Play? I do, I love Stroke Play. 500 to one under, there you have it. We'll see you in the next one, peace.